The PackSafe VentureSafe X40 Plus is a travel backpack that boasts a ton of security features. I'm Tom, the founder of PackHacker, and we love helping people optimize their travel experience with guides and reviews just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to never miss an update. Let's jump right into this bag. I've been testing it for about a month on and off from Detroit to Spain. Definitely boasts a ton of security features. Let's get into it. At the time of this review, this bag comes in two colors, black and Hawaiian blue. We opted for the black. We love the low profile it gives you and arguably the Hawaiian blue makes you stick out a little bit more like a tourist, which is actually kind of anti what this bag is going for. So aesthetics can play a little bit into security as well. The bright blue bag is a bit more of a target than the black one. I'm personally a fan of the look. However, this varies from person to person. That's why we always like to poll our Instagram audience to see their thoughts on the look of the pack. If you'd like to get involved in our next poll, be sure to head over to at PackHacker on Instagram, give us a follow and be there for future polls. We'd certainly appreciate it. The main fabric on here is a 210 denier nylon. And on the inside, there's a highly weather resistant polyester liner as well. And between those two layers, there's PackSafe's patented ExoMesh, which is like this metal webbing going on here, kind of helps make the bag a little bit more slash proof. Now, arguably the 210D nylon on the outside could be a little bit higher denier to make it more robust, but it's the trade-off you get with the weight and that ExoMesh going on. So overall, it's got some decent durability, even more so on the anti-theft side of things. It's important to note that the nylon is also not singular ripstop, but double ripstop. So there's a lot of protection if a rip happens in this pack, it'll sort of cut off at these grid marks. From a branding perspective, you've got one logo on the shoulder strap and then one sort of on the front of the pack here. It's gonna say pack safe there. And then you've got this sort of larger, the largest logo on here, this ExoMesh logo here. So I'm just thinking of like a thief seeing that and being like, ooh, don't wanna mess with that bag, ExoMesh. The Venture Safe features a bunch of other materials from an aluminum frame to EVA foam padding and Dyneema on the backpack straps for additional strong slash protection. And of course, lockable YKK zippers and some ITW hardware throughout. The black version has a decently low profile, but there's actually a ton going on on the outside of this pack. So let's start off with the harness system. First of all, these shoulder straps might look a little bit thin and I can assure you they are super comfortable. So. I would kind of compare this to the Manal Carry-On 2.0 straps or the Mission Workshop Fitzroy straps, two companies that really know how to create good carries in their packs. Although it appears thin, this foam is high density enough to be comfortable and create a really great carry. Also, you've got some mesh here for some additional airflow and some holes in that EVA foam as well. The load lifters on the top help with your carry a little bit, balance it out overall. And then you have these elastic keepers here that help manage those straps on the shoulder straps. The wearer's left strap features a turn and lock security loop, and this is an added anti-theft feature. Definitely not foolproof and you can take it off quite easily. However, it's just gonna prevent somebody from quickly grabbing it and running away with it. Say you're on like a subway, you could attach it to a pole if you want, or if you're on a bus and you wanna take a nap, you can attach it to your seat, just things like that, just another added layer of security. Plus, there's an additional section of Dyneema webbing on that strap, which makes it harder to cut through. It's quite easy to take it on and off, just rotate the lock mechanism and then pull that down as an ordinary hook like you'd expect. The hip belt here provides some really great comfort, really adds to the carry of the pack. However, there's one thing with it, it is not stowable. So when you're not utilizing it, it's kind of annoying your arms sort of get in the way on the side of your body. And then if you're gonna be like walking through a skinny airport aisle with this thing, you're gonna be like strap whacking people in the face. So we're never really a fan of hip belts that cannot be removed or hidden. We wish PackSafe would have thought through this a little bit more as this is a travel pack. The wearer's right hand side is gonna offer a 3D pocket, which is good for smaller items. And the left hand side is going to offer two rows of Molly, which is good for attaching additional Molly compatible accessories. Lastly, you've got a nice hook at the top if you wanna hang up the bag anywhere. And then you have a nicely padded mesh back panel right here. Below the harness system, there's also an affixed rain cover that's always there. It's attached to the pack. You just pull it out when you need it, toss it over your pack, 
additional weather resistance and you're good to go. On each side, there is a super stretchy water bottle pocket going on that's basically gonna be able to hold any size water bottle. And this really surprised us in our testing. It fit a swell bottle, it'll fit a giant Nalgene bottle. And just for kicks, we threw in a giant Soylent tub as well. So it definitely has a lot of stretch for folks carrying larger water bottles when they travel. This is gonna be a great thing for you. Each side features two compression straps. So you've got four in total. These are good for pulling down the main volume of the pack if you're not quite carrying as much and it's not fully loaded out. Additionally, you can hold things on the side like a jacket or like a tripod. I know PackSafe in one of their videos, they were putting like a monopod in here as well. So the point being is there's a ton of external features that kind of allow you to configure your external carry outside of the pack, including the Velcroable straps here, as well as the trekking loops on the bottom of the pack. On the exterior, there are a bunch of options to secure these zippers as well. So the YKK zippers are lockable zippers that you can use with TSA approved locks. Additionally, there are two places with integrated clips just to kind of hold the two zippers together, which is an anti-theft deterrent, makes it a little bit harder to access. Lastly, on the front pocket, there is a small nylon tab that you can thread the zipper under, which makes it harder to open up. On the front side, we have this vertically smaller zippered pocket that's gonna be good for flatter items or just smaller things that you wanna put in front of the pack. Then we've got a horseshoe zipper on the front, which is a little bit easier to access after you pull off the side compression strap. So I'll just do that, pull this down, and then you have another ample sized pocket. This horseshoe only comes down to about halfway down the pack here. However, the pocket goes down the entirety of the front of the pack. Starting at the top, we have a 360 spinnable keychain clip going on here, and then a pocket that we can open right up Inside there's a D-ring where you can attach additional accessories, say like a flashlight or a multi-tool, something like that. Otherwise, PackSafe kind of wants you to use their wallet with this as an additional security protection going on here. One thing about this zippered pocket is that it is RFID secured. So I haven't really read many headlines about this type of theft going on. Uh, I think it's more uncommon, but in the world of contactless credit cards, NFC, you know, phones, passports, everything is becoming a little bit more electronically scannable. I'm wondering if these will progress. So that's just one thing to note. Any items that you don't wanna get scanned, you can toss them in here. Of course, whether that's a benefit to you is gonna kinda of depend on how you view this stuff. Below that, we have a lay flat organizer, two pockets on the side for pen, pencil, stylus, anything like that. And this will hold like field notes or your passport or some smaller items here as well. On the flap side, we have a mesh zippered pocket going on as well. You can see through it, which is great. Just gonna add some additional organization in that pocket. Now, one thing to note about this giant horseshoe compartment is that if you're fully utilizing the RFID pocket, the lay flat organizer, and the mesh pocket, it's gonna be harder to get to whatever items you end up stuffing down this horseshoe compartment. Moving on to the main leader capacity, this can be accessed in one of two ways. So one, through this angled zipper here. And this is actually a really nice layout because if you only zipper this down a little bit, you can fold this over and get a great view of what's going on inside of the pack. And then secondly, you can access it from this panel on the back here as well, which cannot be accessed while you're wearing the pack, so that's an added security bonus. There's an optional divider that separates the main leader capacity as well. It attaches with zipper and Velcro and is easy enough to remove if you don't wanna use it and you can just stash it away either in the rain cover compartment or another pocket within the pack. While that divider is in place, the main capacity here is basically split into two. So accessing it from here, you're sort of blocked by that divider from anything you can access here. So then arguably this becomes the most secure pocket of the pack. In the main volume of the pack, the aluminum frame is slightly visible. This really helps with the carry, especially without a very solid frame sheet. And we find that works really well. We're glad PackSafe has included that, added a ton to the comfort of the carry. For additional organization on that back flap, you have three pockets up here, Velcro down by this Velcro flap, that's gonna be good for SD cards and other smaller, flatter items. Moving down below, you have two ripstop polyester pockets going on here with zippers and zipper garages as well. So it kind of keeps a nice, slick, low profile. Gonna be good for flatter items, nothing too bulky in there. PackSafe offers two additional interior components 
with this pack for the greater system. The first is gonna be their camera cube. So if you open these up and kind of keep the lid permanently open, they want you to put it at the bottom of the pack and then you can just access all your lenses, any camera gear by just folding this thing down. Now it's a little bit kludgy since that packing cube just is sort of free floating there and it's opened up. It doesn't really hook into the system at all. If you wanna see a pack that has a better camera system, check out stuff from Peak Design, especially their new travel backpack. They kind of fully integrate and clip in their camera cubes. It's a lot better solved than just having it free float here. So that's a little bit kludgy with this system. We think it could have been done a little bit better, but you do have the option to keep your camera gear, your lenses handy with this setup. The other accessory that can be integrated here is PackSafe's portable safe. Basically, it's a secure cube. You can use that metal mesh wire, thread it outside of that water bladder port, and then you're good to go. You can kind of attach it again to anything that's fixed to keep your bag secure. And with that water bladder hose port, there is a pocket here that you can toss water bladders into, a Velcroable toggle, and then just use that port to pass the hose through. The water bladder pocket here also doubles as the compartment for your laptop. We have a little bit of a problem with that because the heavy weight of a laptop that far away from your back is gonna make your bag feel a lot heavier than necessary. We feel like this design consideration is very important for the modern day traveler, whether you're a digital nomad traveling for work or you just wanna keep your laptop with you when you go for a trip, whether it's you know for a week or longer, having your laptop with you is important to a lot of people. So seeing that just kind of as an afterthought here, tossed in the front, we don't really like to see that quite as much. Our PackSafe VentureSafe X40 Plus has seen about a month of usage from Detroit to Barcelona, Spain. Overall, it's held up well so far and provided some great security features on the road. Other than some minor fabric fraying in a couple areas, everything has held up well. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, there are a ton of smart, streamlined security features going on. The harness system is super comfortable and adjustable. PackSafe offers just right organization without going overboard. For some of the cons, the laptop compartment and positioning is not optimal. The hip belt isn't hideable, it's bulky, we don't love it when we're not using it. And the exterior nylon could be higher denier for added durability. If you're looking for a secure pack, the PackSafe VentureSafe X40 Plus offers some really great features geared exactly towards that. From the anti-slash exomesh material to the secured zipper features to the securable Dyneema strap on the outside of the pack, there are some really great features going on and some really great thinking that went into the security features of this pack. Although the laptop compartment placement is not ideal and the hip belt is bulky and non-hideable, this is still a pretty good choice for a travel pack. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the PackSafe VentureSafe X40 Plus. Be sure to take a look at our guide on how to choose the best travel backpack for you. We know this is a confusing endeavor, so we like to break it down in four different videos to try to help you identify what's right for you. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you in the next video.